The trucks were rolling again today at the site of the former PPG factory in the city's Lafayette section after judge ruled that the city couldn't stop work from going forward just because it didn't agree with how the final cleanup was going to be accomplished. This site has been contaminated by chromium for decades. PPG has agreed to clean it up, but the city says the company wants to leave a gravel pit in its wake something which a new developer would have to re-remediate. At a press conference last week, Mayor Steve Phillips said the company was reneging on a 2009 consent decree that ordered the cleanup. The mayor says PPG's fix doesn't meet the city's needs or match what the court intended. The way to mitigate that concern from the city standpoint is to anticipate that there's going to be utilities necessary here, that's sewer, that's electric, and uh, to provide that stuff now, at least the framework, so that a developer can come in here and not rupture uh, any sort of remediation that's happened. Um, absent of that, this uh, property is basically a useless 20-acre uh, piece of property in the heart of the city. The PPG site, which the city envisions as part of a 100-acre mixed-use development, is near a rapidly gentrifying neighborhood and adjacent to a new park the city's building. Councilwoman Diane Coleman says residents here have waited for more than a generation to reclaim this part of their neighborhood. I know that it's been over 20 years and I can't imagine that an organization that's worth billions and billions of dollars would not invest in revitalizing a community that they destroyed in the first place. I just can't imagine. That tells me something about PPG. PPG, which did over $30 billion in business last year, says the designated redeveloper a company that includes former Governor Jim Florio and former DEP Commissioner Chris Daggett has agreed to much of the work the city is asking for. A statement released by the company today says, as PPG continues to have uninterrupted access into the foreseeable future, we will continue to work diligently towards completing the remediation and making the property available for redevelopment to the benefit of the entire community. They dump it in the hood because they, they feel like this doesn't matter. These, these lives over here really don't matter. They won't dump it in the suburbs. We're going to have to go through court, and uh, it's going to be a long process, but uh, we're determined to make sure that this gets done properly. A judge has set a May 1st date for further arguments. In the meantime, cleanup goes on. Good for the environment, perhaps, but not good enough for a city eager to leave its industrial past permanently buried. In Jersey City, I'm David Cruz, NJTV News.